Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Asus computer is experiencing no sound on your Windows 11 device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by checking down in your system tray and make sure your speakers are selected here. So if you have various speaker devices, make sure you're using the default ones that you want to connect here. So again, if you actually right click on the speaker and then you select the sound settings, make sure your current speaker device is selected here. And if you have to choose a different option, you may have to select that too. And staying on this page here, make sure the volume is turned up as well. So again, something you should take a look at here. And you can also test the sound here too. Something else, make sure your physical speakers are turned on. So if you have a power button for your speakers, make sure it's turned on. So make sure that it's actually physically on. And if you have a dial, make sure it's turned up a little bit. And I would recommend not putting it all the way up. Just do slow increments because you don't want it to be blaring out of your speaker when you try and do a test. And if you're still having a problem, something else you can try here too would be to open up the search icon. Type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on the audio inputs and output section and right click on the speakers and select where it says update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. And you can also search for updates in Windows Update as well. Or you can also browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the specific one for your speaker. Otherwise, you can select the generic one if you only have one option available. And then proceed to select next. And then select close. Close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. should be as simple as that. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.